Because when I was asked to come and unveil this statue, it was a great honour for me uh, to have uh, been asked to do this today. I remember Phil coming to coming to study as a young boy, and if I remember rightly, there was about four boys from Bellingwall. I think uh, uh, Stuart Gallagher was one of them. And the other one was uh, Paul Butler, Brian Butler, and uh, Roy Mathias and Phil. But the other three, we lost and they went up north to better themselves. But this is the man that got better, not the other three. It's been a great honour for me to have played alongside this man for the 10 years that I think I played alongside him. and. Uh, do you know, when, when, I, when I come back from the 71 Lions tour, uh, the great Barry John uh, retired and everybody thought, uh, was, uh, everybody thought the Welsh rugby was finished, but up came this boy from Berlin Ball and he never looked back. You know, when I think of, of great outside halves that have played the game, I think of this boy by uh, because you believe me, I played with some great players in my time, but this is the best of them all. It's well known that uh, we beat the All Blacks down in Stradi in 1972, but it wasn't Sanessi that beat the All Blacks, it was Phil Bennett that beat the All Blacks. <laughs> It was the start of a wonderful career. <laughs> and when he was cap for, not only cap for Wales, but when he was chosen for the Lions in 74 in, in South Africa, you know, he opened their eyes. And, and not only in South Africa, but in New Zealand as well. That uh, whenever they talk about outside halves, there's only one man that comes up and that's Phil Bennett. You know, I, I talk to Willie John McBride, my mate sometimes, uh, that I've told it on three lines tours, and uh, whenever he comes on the phone, he always asks, how is Benny? Because to us boys in the dressing room, it wasn't Phil Bennett, it was Benny. Uh, I'm sorry, Pat, if that upsets you, but that's how he was known to us boys as Benny and uh, whenever I talk to Willie Johnny we always talk about this boy and uh, you know he's a man that's traveled the world and if anybody knows anything about rugby that boy does and as I said it's a great pleasure for me to be here today to unveil the plaque for one of the best rugby players that I ever ever saw and I ever had the pleasure of playing the same side. Thank you, Phil. Um, ladies and gentlemen, can you hear me? No. Uh, good afternoon, I'll give it my best shot. If you can't hear me, you're not missing anything, so don't worry, don't, don't worry about it. Can I just say, how proud I am to be in my home village of Ellingbourne amongst many friends and to open a statue really which gives me so much joy, pleasure and you know ladies and gentlemen for me to come along with this man here with Roy Berger, great men and let me tell you they were great, great players. And I'm so proud that they took the time off and their busy men to come along to Venable this afternoon to enjoy the occasion. And for me, it is absolutely unique. I will never forget this occasion for the rest of my life. Dell and I go back many years, as do with Roy. I can honestly say that 
you know, we sort of never forgot each other. We were friends, we were mates, but we never ever forgot where we came from. And, you know, Shalesi RS here. What an honour there, a great honour. Scarlets are the Scarlets now, but they can never take that honour away from us. Playing for my beloved Leslie RFC, I've gone on to play many other games. Can I, I don't want to bore you, can I just say, for me, what a privilege, what a pleasure. Fellivore will always be the heart of my life. I always want to be part of Valley Vaux's life. So please rejoice with me in saying, I want to say, I love Valley Vaux. It has been, it has been, oh, the biggest part of my rugby career, biggest part of my life. So ladies and gentlemen, I once again thank you for being so kind come in here this afternoon and follow me in my career with Billy Thank you very, very much.